Okay, guys, I honestly don't know why I am smiling. I, I, I think because it, at some point you get to a point where you just got to laugh, right? Have y'all ever been in that predicament? Well, it appears that my heater core has gone out on Phoenix. And uh, bless her heart, she just is dying piece by piece and I just keep trying to resurrect her. I'm about at the point where I'm not sure I want to keep putting money into this puppy. And um, we are, and by we, I mean Frugal RV Gal, and by we, she's probably wondering who the mouse is in my pocket, but um, it, she is investigating everything for me. We talked to my cousin Mike and my friend Curtis, and they have kind of uh, told us that it was the heater core or coil or whatever it is, and so we're trying to find the leak, uh, but you guys, I, it's a wonder that my engine didn't seize up. I have no water in the radiator, nothing in the coolant. Uh, what's that called, Jana? Coolant, overflow. coolant overflow. It flowed into the steer well for two days, ruined my carpet. Uh, it just can't be salvaged. And um, so now we're trying to find where the leak is, and we're hoping, hoping, hoping that it's hoses. Uh, and I know that we can bypass the, those and not have heater or defroster, but I'm hoping that it's just a hose uh, because, man, we, I cannot afford, um, I just spent $1,400 on brakes. I can't afford $1,500 to $2,000 to replace the heater core. I am going to put a video link down below in the description and in the uh, pinned comment to show you a video that Jenna and I watched thinking that we might could do this ourselves. And that's a big, oh hell no, but we're fixing to, <laughs> right Jenna? <laughs> we're fixing to take the doghouse off though and we'll show you what we find, fingers crossed. Okay, and like I said, it totally destroyed the carpet. We're gonna show you, like like it's just, that. yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a mess in, in oh my gosh. It's just, oh, it's just awful. So we may end up trying to take the chair out too and cut the carpet out because, uh, yeah. I, plus that, that's just gonna be stinking over time. and Just oily. Yeah. All right, so another view of the squishy carpet. You guys ready? Watch this. It's all wet. Yeah. Do it again, Jen, I'm sorry. See how it's running down that? Yeah, it just runs and down. This was all full. Just completely full. Ugh. Carpet's got to go. Carpet's going bye bye. We may see if we can take the chair out. If not, I'm going to at least cut it out. I took it off before and it just lifts up and then out is what I remember. But let me move this chair. Let me move this chair. I think you need an extra pair of hands. Here it come. Okay, turns out there were four more volt bolts to get out. I lied to Jenna. I told her there were only the two floor floor bolts, but there were two up in this compartment and two down by the floor. We're almost there. <laughs> we're almost there. Okay, so we got the dog house off. And if you watch that video that I was telling you about that we just randomly found on YouTube, actually, of course, Jenna did, and I watched it with her. The heater core is up in there, but the whole dash and the steering column has to come off to access it. We were hoping to be able to maybe see a hose that was leaking, but if it is, it's up by the heater core. So I'm gonna have to take it in somewhere and pay labor even just for the bypass. And if they're gonna charge me enough labor that I might just make more sense to go ahead and replace the heater core i might do that or you, you know what you guys i might not um i'll let you know i meant to say regardless we're gonna pull this nasty carpet up and um just all all the way around it, it just uh it just destroyed the carpet and I just don't know whether I want to keep putting money into Phoenix, but then that also means that I don't have a home because this is my house. I got lots of decisions to make.
Jana says, this is some damn old carpet. <laughs> it's actually 38 year old carpet coming out, you guys. Okay, guys, so here's the update. I've kind of lost what I've told you already and what I haven't, but um, we pulled the floor flooring out, and by we, I mean Jana, because it had to be, see that blade, big old honker blade that she used? And she said I couldn't have sharp objects. <laughs> but we pulled out the passenger side of the carpet. Of course, it's 38-year-old carpet, so it just disintegrated because it was full of that oil and antifreeze and water and everything. And uh, we are going to do a bypass. And again, by we, I mean frugal. So hold on, and I'll let her explain that to you. All right, so we're going to bypass the heater core. And I can only do this from Deborah's cousin, Mike helping me do this so to bypass this basically you just take the heater core out of the equation altogether and hook the two hoses together in this case I don't even have to hook the two hoses together I can just take the hose that goes to the block and put it right here to the radiator because that hose right there I'm gonna just take out so this hose I'm gonna disconnect from the heater core and attach it to the radiator and then we'll be back in business isn't she amazing oh i can't do it without mike you told me how to do it well yes mike we love you thank you and thank you jenna and we're out here in the middle of nowhere yeah so. we really are i mean i'll i'll show you our uh, view around our camp of the well, beautiful forest well, yeah okay so this is camp and it's a little messy because it has the dog house and oh, and that was trash. That's the carpet that we pulled out. And uh, then there's the stuff that is, goes behind the passenger seat. So, and that's the tarp that Jenna was originally on underneath the rig. And so we'll clean all that up. But you guys look at this beautiful forest. Bando, he thinks he's got lizards for friends and playmates. He'll get a bath later, but look at this. Isn't it beautiful? All right, so we are in a beautiful location for Phoenix to have a bypass. <laughs> Phoenix is having bypass surgery. What are you doing now, Jana? <laughs> I'm making a bucket. A bucket? I have a bucket. Well, you've got antifreeze. You don't want antifreeze in your bucket. So. Oh, well, that's true. So this I'm gonna put down there to keep, catch the water. Yeah, we've been careful to make sure that the dogs don't get in any of this. And, and down below as well, we've been making sure that we keep everything safe for the puppy pups. Okay, it turns out the hoses are two different sizes. So we're going to have to make a supply run and get some sort of coupler and adapter. Uh. 